in the club pool next to me, some guys started shouting out of their car windows about my legs, about the things that they'd like to do to me. And I ignored them and I carried on home and I got on with it like you do. And then a few nights later I was on the way home on the bus quite late at night and I was on the phone to my mum and I thought at first that the guy next to me just accidentally brushed my leg with his hand and I carried on talking to my mum and then I realised that actually he was grabbing and broken my leg and I stood up to move away from him but because I was on the phone to my mum I vocalised it in a way that I didn't think I would have done otherwise so I said I'm on the bus this guy's groping me and everybody on that bus looked out the window or looked down at their feet or looked at their phone. Certainly nobody stepped in, but more than that, there was a real sense of why are you making a fuss about this woman? You know, this is your issue, deal with it. Don't make us have to think about it. And that immediately made me feel ashamed. It made me feel like maybe I'd done something wrong or I shouldn't have been there on my own that late at night. I shouldn't have been wearing what I was wearing and all of those thoughts that that reaction triggers. And again, I carried on, I went home, didn't mention it, I got on with it like you do. And then a couple of days later I was walking down the street in broad daylight and there was a big truck that was being unloaded and scaffolding was coming off the back of it and there were two guys working together and as I walked past one of them turned to the other and said, look at the tits on that, not her, that. And they started discussing me as if I wasn't there even though I was one metre away and I could really clearly hear them.